when this video comes out, it's going to be my birthday. So if you guys want to give me a present, like the video, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. And watch the video to the very end for audience retention, as it helps me out a lot. Might be like five minutes of your time, and it really helps me. And I'd just love to see the numbers go high on my birthday. The next order of business is to thank my new editor. He designed me three new intros, and I picked one that I thought was amazing. His He also has a channel, which I'll link down in the description. It's called Dilly the Coder. It's amazing, and I really recommend you subscribe to him too. Anyways, let's run the new and improved intro. <laughs> Okay, so here I have the Discord developer portal right in front of me. And the way that you can do it is just by typing in discord.com slash developers. I'll have a link down in the description and in the comments if you guys want to go to this website. Or you can just search up Discord developer portal on Google and this should be the first result. So needless to say, once you're here, then you want to click new application. And my camera is actually blocking that button. So I'm just going to take off my camera for a sec. Okay. So here I'm going to press new application and now I can return my camera because you guys all want to see my lovely face, I hope. <laughs> and then you have to name your bot. This is very important because whatever you name your bot, you can change it. But once you've actually like built your bot and invited it to your server, it's really hard to change and it gets kind of messy. So it's really better to just name it something you like at the start. So now I'm going to name mine programming done right because you know, that's my channel name. So that's what my bot's going to be named. And I can upload an image. So I'm just going to upload the programming done right, uh, just the programming done right logo. And right here, it should upload. And you see that it saves and you can press save changes. So we're good on that front. Now what we want to do is we want to head over to bot. In bot, we want to press add bot and we want to press yes to it. Now we're actually adding our bot. And we have all these options, but we want to ignore everything on this page and go to OAuth2. And right here, we want to write bot because that's what we're building, a bot. And now we have to give our bot permission. So this is very important. Even if you watch my other Discord bot tutorials, you know that we clicked from here all the way to here. But uh, and then we also did a couple of uh, permissions here. But now what we want to do is we want to give this administrator access. In my last video, I said that this was frowned upon. The reason is because it can become a security hazard, but we're going to do some things to improve the security and uh, it's going to be OK. And the reason that we're giving it administrator permissions is because we're making this such a complex bot. So it's OK. Don't worry. You can give it administrator permissions. Now, what you want to do is you want to copy this link that I gave you here. This is the link that you can send to anyone for them to invite it to their own server. I'm just going to invite it to my server. By the end of the series, I'm going to send my link in the description and in the comments where you can invite my bot to your server. The thing is, I recommend that you build your own because this is going to be configured for my server specifically. But I mean, if you have a server very similar to mine, then yeah, you could use my bot. I really don't mind. OK, now all we want to do is we want to connect it to some server. I'm connecting it to the programming done right server. The link is down in the description. If you want to join, we're always happy for new uh, comers. So yeah, join that. Anyways, now we're going to press continue and it's going to give us the do you, are you sure you want to give it administrator permissions and all that? We just want to say authorize, you know, we want to give it administrator permissions. And then you might have to do an I am human test as I have to do here. For me, I just have to check mark it, but you might have to do that like weird thing where you have to like see like which ones are crossroads and stuff. So yeah, once you see this authorized uh, screen, you can close this tab. Notice don't close the browser because we're going to need a couple things from here. We're going to need to keep this tab open and we're going to head over to bot. We want to copy this token. This token is very important when starting up our Discord project. And I'll tell you why in a bit. So let's first head over to PyCharm and let's load up a project and let's get the basic bot template down. In this video, we're not going to be actually configuring anything really important. We're not going to add like messages and stuff, but it's all necessary for your bot to run correctly. And I'm going to be explaining some important things. So that's it for now. And I'll just quickly head over to PyCharm. Okay, so here I have PyCharm right in front of me. 
I've just made a new project and now all I have to do is the first thing I should do is delete all the starter code. It has some starter code, just delete all of that and work in main.py. That's where we're gonna be coding. Don't make another file. I've seen other people do this and it's a huge mistake. Only work in main.py. If you're not using PyCharm and you're using like the idle, then things will be a little different. But instead, but still, if you're using a project based code editor, then always use main.py. Okay, now that I cleared that out of the way, I'm just gonna take out the my file tab and I wanna open up the terminal. So I'm gonna open up the terminal and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install uh, Discord and I'm just gonna install the API that we're gonna be using to actually uh, to actually like work Discord. So if we wanna import Discord into our program, we're just gonna have to write this in the terminal. If you have an IDE that doesn't have a built-in terminal in it, like the idle, then all you wanna do is you wanna go to the command prompt if you're on a Windows and the actual terminal in your computer if you're on a Linux slash Mac. Now here, all you wanna write is pip install discord.py. And now you wanna press enter and wait a little bit and let discord.py install. I'll meet you guys back here once this is installed. Okay, so here it's installed for me. You can also see I uh, made the font size a little bigger, but yeah, it's installed for me. So I'm just gonna close out the terminal. Now, all I wanna do is import Discord into my program now that I've installed it. The way I do that is I just wanna write import Discord. And now I wanna say from Discord import, uh, D Discord import commands. We need commands to execute certain things because if like we want to purge uh, the whole chat and things like that, commands can be really, really useful. So because of that, we're just going to say from discord dot ext. Uh, I don't know why they added the ext. It's just there, not exe, ext, and then import commands. Now that that's done, we're going to initialize a variable called bot to work with discord. The reason we're doing this is this one variable will have access to all of discord.py's properties so that we can access it and create our bot. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to say and make a new variable called bot equals and now we're going to say uh, and now what we're going to say is commands.bot commands.bot uppercase and now what we're going to do is command underscore prefix equals and we want to put quotes. What a command prefix is, is like if I'm talking to me six and I'm going to use an exclamation point before I do my command or uh, like if I want to clear, then I want some sort of prefix, right? Or uh, like a dot. It can be literally anything. It can even be a couple of characters. And the reason we want a prefix is let's just say I was chatting to my friends and I said clear uh, by accident, you know, like let's say I was just chatting with them and that came up. Then it would just clear my conversation, which is not what I want. Right, so what I wanna do is I wanna put a uh, symbol. So this is my symbol, the left carrot. Uh, this is my favorite by far, uh, just because, you know, I, I really like the carrot because nobody ever uses this in normal conversation. So it has very little uh, mistakes, but you can use any symbol you want. You can use an exclamation point like me six or whatever. I like this though. Okay, so once you have all that uh, sorted out, we want to create an event and this is going to be called on ready. So we're going to say at bot dot event and we're going to say async def on underscore ready. OK, and and let me explain these two lines really quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm making a new event and this event is going to be an asynchronous uh, is going to be on ready. The reason we wrote async is because it's an asynchronous function. If you don't really know what that means, don't really worry about it, but just know that these two are connected to each other and that's and that's like really important. Async kind of helps with that and it uh, it's a it's a little more complex, but we need this when uh, defining functions. So add async def on ready. So now we've created a function called on ready. So this means when the bot is ready, what are we going to do? Well, I just like the print bot is ready. Now, most people don't write much in here. Uh, I just print bot is ready. You can do some fancier stuff. Uh, we might be doing this later on when we're setting up things like reaction rules, but don't worry about that for now. For now, just uh, write bot is ready because that's really all we need. And just like that, now we wanna actually uh, execute our bot and make it run. So the way we do that is very simple, bot.run. 
And now we put quotes again. And now we have to put our bot's token. Now you might be thinking, what is the bot's token? Well, that's why I told you to keep your, uh, that's why I told you to keep your Discord developer portal open. Here, we're gonna go back to our Discord developer portal and we're gonna go and fetch our token. Here, I have my, to uh, my Discord developer portal and I'm gonna copy the token. And you should never share your token with anyone else. In this series, I'm gonna be sharing my token with you guys, but don't worry, after every, uh, after the series, I'm just gonna regenerate the token, which you can do to like regenerate it. That's all it really does because yeah, it, it gives you a new token. So I'm gonna go back to PyCharm and I'm gonna say bot.run. And now all I wanna do is I just wanna go and press uh, control V. And now that that's done, your bot should be okay to run. Now it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna print bot is ready and it's gonna show that it's online in your server. And that's what matters right now. So let's run this file and let's check if it really is ready. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna take a little bit of time and if we see the print statement bot is ready, then we should be good to go. If we get an error though, then we're gonna have to solve that. But let's wait a little bit and let the bot be ready. So yeah, it'll take a little bit of time. So I'll pause the, or never mind. The bot is ready. So it says that the bot is ready. So that means that it should be okay. So don't uh, don't stop your program yet. And let's actually check on Discord if our bot um, really is showing up as online. So I'm gonna go to my server and I'm gonna check if the bot really is online. So I'm gonna stop the recording and get to my server. Okay, so here I have Discord right in front of me. And uh, there's all my list of members in my server, which you can join. And yes, I'm using the Chrome Discord, stop bullying me for it, but I'm just kidding. Anyways, so now we can see that the programming done right bot is alive. There's also another programming done right bot, I have two, but uh, this one is the one that I'm gonna be working on. That's why I gave it an image so you guys could differentiate the two. But if I say anything, if I just try and say, hello, it's not gonna do anything, really, when you see this. So yeah, it doesn't do anything, but right, but we're gonna work on it and make sure that it does something. Now, this was a very basic introduction and we're gonna get to some more complex things like reaction rules, XP, and so on and so forth. Now, let me know down in the comments, I had a pretty cool idea that we'd turn this type of thing into more of a chatbot related thing. After making reaction rules and XP and all of that, we could, uh, make, you, we could make a neural network and actually use real artificial intelligence and machine learning to make a bot where we wouldn't have to hard code everything. If that sounds good to you, leave a comment down below telling me. And as of recording this, this will be uh, my birthday. So, you know, if you want to give me a present, just, you know, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and please share the video. It means a lot to me. Anyways, now if you're from the future, check out my next video on this, which is going to be releasing at Friday, 3.30 PST, Pacific Time. That's always when my videos release. So, uh, yeah, check that when, uh, when it's out. If you're from the future, check that video out and watch all the videos that are out right now. Anyways, that's all for today. So I'll see you guys next time and I'm going to be leaving now. Bye.